well? Yes, and um, the small strings attached to this is uh, I was working on a, on an album with Gulam Mustafa Khan Sahib and his sons, and uh, because of my other engagements, I could never finish it. And so it is um, some of the songs, like a couple of songs from from those albums have come into this and in a good way because it suited the whole um, philosophy of what the Coke Studio this episode should be. It's about happiness and it's about bringing together people who are extremely uh, different. And, um, and the other one was um, a couple of um, songs from my sister's album which we co-conceived together and it's called Rasayana Rojakal, which means chemical roses. And there are two songs premiering in this. Uh, some of the songs were built for live. Like uh, the, the core idea of the Mukuda Antra was there and then we had some of the best musicians in, in India or the world, say like we had Sivamani and we have, and Sivamani not in his usual role with two truckload of instruments, but going very internal and he's, he's playing something called a happy uh, gong, which is a tunable rag based stuff, and then he's also playing the continuum, uh, percussive mode, and then Prasanna and uh, Keba, and then we have this child prodigy called Mohini playing the bass, and then we have we had auditioned around 40 singers for singing backing vocals, or not backing vocals, they, they were singing main, main things also, main riffs also, and we got seven out of them who were amazing, and um, that's why. And then we have this great artist from a Buddhist monk from Nepal and a singer called Farah Siraj from Jordan um, who was celebrating uh, the manifestation of uh, compassion through a mother. It's, um, I think it's a state of mind where every time you have to do something you don't know whether it's going to work out or not. Sometimes you flow and sometimes it comes naturally, sometimes you feel like, oh my god. And because since I have to shift between many different sensual um, sensibilities, which is, um, yeah, I'm doing a movie on, you know, like Ranjana, which is completely, uh, you know, earthy, and suddenly doing a Marian, which is like Afri African. So how do you switch your minds? <laughs> and sometimes it's too scary. And, and what the South Indian audience understand sometimes would, might not work here what they understand might look too North Indian. And sometimes you work in Hollywood, you wake up and you're in Los Angeles and they say, there's a score and <laughs> have you just scored for this hundred and, we are, we are gonna score in a week and you don't have a score and so you get on this trauma. So I often feel that the, the, the trust and the faith actually helps you to feel that you're not in control. You can work hard, but then the results are from this, you know, the divine. That's the reason I mentioned that. You mentioned Ranjana. The film's been really, really well accepted. The music, particularly, does that. How does that make you feel with Bollywood? And I am also. Uh, did you catch the film? Did you get to watch the film? I have watched many times to score. Okay. <laughs> um, I think Ranjana is something which the, my judgment didn't go wrong because I I watched um, Tanuvats Manu and I felt this man is, can make anybody work, and and the music also was not, oh, here comes a hit song, here comes a hit song. It was catering to the screenplay. And uh, so I was very fascinated by how we made every song work and how the song could be on its own beautiful and not trying to say, here comes a chart buster, here comes a chart buster. And that aspect, I think, is proved it right to everyone saying that that's what he wanted me to do. And, uh, and, and so we had a lot of... We had difficult times with them too because some some of the times you feel that this is the right song and when it becomes too chart bustery you wouldn't like it. <laughs> you would say, oh, no, no, say this is too much. My emotion with my heroes, the, for the title track especially, he was never happy till the last couple of weeks. When when it got, when it received very well, then he felt oh, <laughs> and and but the other songs I think he was is amazing to work with him. He and he was um, the the thing which really touched me was. Um, he said, I'm so sad, sir. I said, what happened? Because I'm going to, Ranjana is going to be over. 
I'm going to leave Ranjana and go into something else. So he was like. <laughs> no, also you have a habit of bringing all, all your uh, various singers coming into the uh, next film, considering Rashid Khan this time again in, uh, in Ranjana and Sukhinder Singh. Do you have any personal favorites or considering the wave of new musicians these days, do you have any personal favorites among the music directors you have worked with or you want to work with? I mean singers? Music directors or singers? Uh, Music directors, why should I work with music directors? <laughs> Unless I become a producer and I have to do my movie. Um, I think a lot of people are doing extraordinary work. Like Amit is doing great work, Pritham is doing amazing work. And then there's new composers called Sachin, Sachin Jigar. And um, so sometimes you feel like, what am I going to do? Maybe I should do something else. These guys are so good. And But then when you're a musician, each the expression is so different. Each day is different and then what you can tell through music is amazing and that keeps you going.